So we will continue where we left last time, had a Dormer model. So I will just uh, do a little recap of, of the ending of the last recording. So why was the total output? Why was the total output? C is the total consumption and S is total savings. So your national income, that is national income or output, it is divided uh, among consumption and savings. It is divided between that C T plus S T. Right. And Y T is also the value of output. Y T is also the value of output and the value of the produced output, it has to be matched by the demand for consumption and demand for investment, right? Uh, so value of output produced must be matched by goods produced for consumption plus those needed for investment, right? So YT is also equal to CT plus IT. So from one and two, you know that you can equate them. And what you get is the savings investment equilibrium equation st equals to it st equals to it investment is going to augment the next period capital stock right so and it's also going to replace out uh, any worn out capital so investment Arguments national income stock, right? So, when you invest more, uh, you can produce more, and hence the national income is going to increase and replaces That part of it, which is wearing out. Which is wearing out. Uh, so suppose delta is, uh, is, uh, is the rate of depreciation, right? So delta is the rate at which the capital is depreciating. So you can write it like this, capital KT plus one, that is the capital stock in time period T plus one is investment which you are making in time period T plus one minus delta KT, one minus delta KT. So KT minus delta KT. So KT is my this period capital and uh, there'll be some amount of capital which will be worn out. So that is delta kt. So what is the leftover capital is 1 minus delta kt. That will also be the part of the next period capital. So kt plus 1 is equal to it plus 1 minus delta kt. 
small s is the savings rate. Which is so small s is written as capital S T upon Y T. That is what proportion of output is actually saved. So you can write capital S T is equal to small s y t. Theta is the capital output ratio. Theta is the capital output ratio. So it is it, it means uh, the amount of capital which is required to produce a single unit of output. Right. So it is the amount of capital required to produce A single unit of output in the economy. Right. So theta is equal to capital KT by YT. Okay. So capital KT you can write as theta YT. Capital Kt, you can write as theta by t. So if uh, if you are writing capital Kt as theta by t, you can very well write capital Kt plus 1 as theta by t plus 1. You can write like this. So just uh, increase it for one more period. But Capital KT plus one is IT plus one minus delta KT. It is like this. So in place of capital KT plus one, you guys can write theta YT plus one. And capital IT is equal to capital ST, savings investment equilibrium. And so I'll write one more step, capital ST. Capital ST is small s capital YT, 1 minus delta capital KT. Small s capital YT, 1 minus delta capital KT. Right? So what you can do is that you can subtract theta YT from both the sides. sides. So you have theta by t plus 1 minus theta by t s capital by t 1 minus delta t minus theta by t. Right? So I can straight away write this as theta by t plus 1 minus yt uh, and uh, I can also write minus of 1 minus delta capital kt equals to your S minus theta by t, small s minus theta by t. But 
कैपिटल के टी इज थीटा बाई टी सो थीटा बाई टी प्लस वन माइनस बाई टी माइनस वन माइनस डेल्टा थीटा बाई टी दिस इज जस्ट यू कैपिटल आउटपुट रेशियो एस माइनस थीटा बाई टी एस माइनस थीटा बाई टी राइट वाई टी प्लस वन माइनस वाई टी इज एस माइनस थीटा प्लस वन माइनस डेल्टा थीटा वाई टी Right. Which you can write as s minus theta plus theta minus delta theta by t. Theta theta will get cancelled out. So you have s minus delta theta by t, and that theta will come here. Okay. I'll take one more step. y t plus one minus y t that y t I take here this becomes small s minus delta theta upon theta so that thing is s upon theta minus delta but what is this this is y t plus one minus y t upon y t is that is what growth in output let me call that as g let me call that as g so i can write s upon theta is equal to g plus delta g plus delta this is the haradomer equation this is haradomer equation right and what is the importance of Haradomer equation? Its importance is that it links growth rate with two fundamental variables. What are those two fundamental variables? One is S, other is theta. So small s and theta. Right. So if you increase s, if you push savings rate up, growth rate. will increase. Second, uh, by increasing the rate at which the economy is producing output, that is by lowering theta, again you can increase the growth rate. By increasing the rate Which economy produces output, right? That is a lower theta Growth could be in 
text. And then Devraj Ray also writes this. This is uh, also true that many of the central planning countries, for example, uh, Soviet Union, uh, India, they have uh, they made their plans uh, based on Haridomar equation. They were influenced by the Haridomar equation a lot. Right. So <clears throat> what have you learned in this? You've learned what how do you write the Haridomar equation and what is its importance, right? So I hope it was of some use to you. Thank you, Bhutan.